A Chinese spacecraft successfully landed on the far side of the moon on Sunday as part of a mission to collect soil and rock samples. The landing module touched down at 6.23 a.m. Beijing time in the South Pole Aitken Basin, a massive crater on the moon's far side. This mission, the sixth in China's Chang'e Moon Exploration Program, aims to provide insights into the differences between the less explored far side and the more familiar near side. China, in its pursuit of space exploration, is engaged in a growing rivalry with the United States, Japan, India, and other nations. The country has already established its own space station and regularly sends crews into orbit. The ultimate goal for China is to land a person on the moon before 2030, which would make it the second nation to achieve this feat after the United States. Meanwhile, the U.S. is also planning to return astronauts to the moon with a revised target date of 2026. However, NASA's efforts to utilize private sector rockets for spacecraft launches have faced delays. In a recent setback, computer issues led to the cancellation of Boeing's first astronaut flight. Additionally, a Japanese billionaire called off his plan to orbit the moon due to uncertainties surrounding SpaceX's mega-rocket development, which NASA plans to use for its moon missions. In China's current mission, the spacecraft will use a mechanical arm and drill to collect up to 2 kilograms of surface and underground material over a two-day period. The samples will be transferred to an ascender, which will then return them to an orbiting module around the moon. Finally, a reentry capsule is scheduled to bring the samples back to Earth in late June, landing in China's Inner Mongolia region. Exploring the moon's far side presents unique challenges, including the need for a relay satellite to maintain communication since the far side does not face Earth directly. The terrain on the far side is also more rugged, with fewer flat areas suitable for landing. The South Pole Aitken Basin, where the Chinese spacecraft landed, is an ancient impact crater over 4 billion years old, measuring 13 kilometers deep and 2,500 kilometers in diameter. This crater is considered the oldest and largest on the moon, offering valuable insights into the moon's history and composition. The mission's success could provide crucial information about the moon's early formation and evolution. This historic achievement by China's space agency marks a significant milestone in lunar exploration and sets the stage for further scientific discoveries about Earth's celestial neighbor.